I'd rather watch them boys play dodgeball than watch them play two hand touch football yeah. at this point, bro. The dodgeball is entertaining though. I ain't gonna lie. And just to see him, I yeah. feel like a, a lot of people just need to see that team up, like the conferences and the players all together. Mm-hmm. And we got my boy Hamlin, Demar Hamlin. Good news. He said the mm-hmm. incident is not the end of his story. He's cleared. He's okay to play. After the incident. Straight like that? Back at it? But I don't know, man. That's amazing. Is you, is, do that. If that happened to you, put yourself in his shoes. You done had a heart attack. You basically had to get, you basically, you know, you went to, you went to sleep. Yeah. You went to sleep. You seen yeah. the light. Big sleep. Do you want to get back on the um, football field? Um, the answer is no. I don't want to get back on the football field. But the at the same time, at the same time, maybe, right? Because it's like I still got to earn my second contract, right? I still want to really make a living. I still want to do all these things that i worked my whole life for. It's not just walking away from football. It's walking away from a lot of who you are because to be an NFL player that that football has to become a part of your identity so I would love to say no I'm not hopping back on that field bro I almost just went to a deep sleep on the field but the opportunity in front of him man like I wouldn't blame him for going back out there I would be happy to see it it'd be crazy it'd be an amazing story but um Caleb I don't know I had to think on that one for a minute Caleb me yeah, I agree, bro. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to get on the field. That's what I'm talking about, Turn man. We talking about Demar, man. If you if you literally seen the light on the field, cardiac arrest had to be resuscitated. The whole world held their breath. The man has been cleared to play again. Now, like Chad said, great point for the bag, because you know. I don't think the insurance policy for the NFL is forever. Or not. And it's bad anyway. Yeah, it's bad. They get them boys like like 4000 a month, dude. Something crazy like that. If I was them, I'm surprised the NFL don't give him some type of Keontae Johnson, the Florida player who passed it, like, and give him, give him something like that, like an option, like a buyout or something. or you know. But I don't think the NFL right, in the business of doing that. Nah. They do got those options, man, but you gotta you gotta pick and choose which one you want to roll with. I mean, because them policies they cost a lot. Think about it, like you know what I'm saying. You gotta think about it when you joined your your nine to five. How much was that insurance package to get them benefits? Hey, you paying? How much they take out of your check? Hey, you coming out of pocket? Yeah, but he's not even thinking about that, bro. He's he's talking about like a buyout, like career buyout, right? Like that's what you said, right, yeah, Melly? So the Keontae Johnson situation, he was given. On one hand, you can retire from the NCAA, not play again, and we'll yeah. give you $3 million. We'll yeah. wash our hands of it. Or if you decide to play, you get none of this money. So it was either it was bet on it was all it was bet on yourself or nothing. So yeah. if I'm DeMar Hamlin, you know, I'm on the rookie contract. If I feel capable again and I'm cleared, I'm going to try and earn me a second contract. But Absolutely. the other thing that just popped in my mind is we know we know how NFL teams get. It would be great if the Bills signed them like PR-wise, but is the owner looking at it like, do I want to risk having this player? Do I want this attention? I feel like a lot of teams in a lot of locker rooms, they avoid like some unwanted attention for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? They don't want it. They don't want the extra. But – I'm thinking some people might pass on him, if not the Bills. If the Bills don't straight up say, "All right, we re-sign in Demar," is is do that if you were, if you were owner, if you were you a coach, do you want Demar on your team? Do you want that extra attention? Okay, look, it's on you, man. Go ahead, and handle it. I already said my piece. I mean, sure, why not? You know, give the guy another shot. But, I mean, I, it's to an extent, though. You know, he was already a role player to begin with. It wasn't like he was a starter 
because they wanted him to be a starter. He was playing and getting reps because of injuries on the depth chart. So for depth purposes, hey, give him another shot. He's clear. Hey, the man want to play ball, let him play ball. Hey, that draws another crowd. It draws a good crowd. You know what I mean? What well, they said that dude pretty much brought the whole league together. Yeah. Yeah. Brought the world together. He had people tapped in from across the world. They like, oh snap, a dude almost died on the football field. Yeah, we got hey, football that's field. good. That's great for Bills media, especially because you know they they one of the biggest fan base outside of the Cowboys. <laughs> outside of the Cowboys, they like one of the biggest fan bases in sports history, and it's such a small little area on the East Coast, like. Nobody goes out there in November, you know what I mean, except for they fans. I'll say they loyal. Right. I'll say they loyal. It's, it's great for them. But they, they kind of remind me of the – because they remind me of not Green Bay, but, like, they remind me of Green Bay's fan base, the way it's set up. Like, it's in, it's kind of in the town. It's smaller. Yeah. They need to smack yep. dab and this little, you know what I'm saying, white picket fence, blue-collar town, and then you got, you got a yep. pro team there, so – I definitely feel like they fans is, is rooting for DeMar to come back as a bill. I think Doug McDermott, well, not Doug, his name ain't Doug McDermott, but Coach McDermott is going to want Char. him. Is going to want him back. I feel like he that type of guy that will pull for him to get back, and I feel like those guys in the locker room will want him back on the team. But for that bag yeah. and for my family, I'm going to have to get back on that field again because – all right, hold on. Let me put a price tag on it before we uh, continue. Say, well, the Bills ownership will never do this because NFL billionaires are as stingy as it gets. Yeah, stingy as people know. Say the Bills offered him a $15 million retirement package, basically. All right, what are you doing? Are you taking that $15 million and walking, or are you about to go get try to get that second contract? Put a number on it. Let's make you make a decision. Mm. 15, I'm done, bro. I got to walk away. I'm sorry. 15 mil? Yeah. But what if he balled up? What if you ball? <laughs> that's a 15. If he ball. That's a 15 dollar. That's a 15 million dollar gamble. Eh. I'm taking it. Yeah. I'm, like, taking it. I'm taking it. The, the simple, the simple fact. Tomorrow. All right, if I'm a, if I'm a role player and I haven't been playing, you know what I'm saying? I was on, I was on and off the field. He has enough. Yeah. He has enough uh, clout. He has enough. He's a he's a he's a household name now. So I'm taking mm-hmm. that 15 million. I'm doing something with some type of heart health company. I'm I'm doing I'm doing something. Back. I'm getting all I'm getting all kind of sponsorships. You're gonna see me everywhere. Literally. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that three something. I'm gonna make that three something. <laughs> so, yeah, turn that fifteen into one fifty yeah, real quick. Hey, you're right. What did I do? What Antonio Brown just did? Buy a arena football team. 